Hi guys and girls, welcome to Zilla Camps. Um, this week's video is uh, one of our compare a certain group of speakers and this time the group is high powered speakers. Yeah, so we've done some other videos in this format in the past. We've looked at Celestian's Al Nico speakers, Celestian's uh, classic Cre series. Yeah, yeah, the cream backs. Yeah, um, but this time we want to take a look at something that um, we think is pretty cool is some high powered speakers. So our criteria for this was at least 150 watts, wasn't it? Yeah, but uh, first off, I'm going to jump in there and say I made a bit of a boo-boo and <laughs> I thought the the governor, uh, the Emmons governor, uh, was 150 watts. I got a feeling I got mixed up with the Tonka because when we checked right. the spec after recording, it was 75 watts, but we put it in anyway because yeah. I liked it. Before we go any further, I just want to say, if you like the videos or if you're, you're interested in speakers, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you hear when we've got a new video out. Uh, and don't forget to leave us a comment. Let us know any experience you've got with these type of speakers or anything else and how you've been using them, ones you like, ones you don't like, things you like about the videos, things you, you don't like, things you want to see. So we yeah. love hearing from you. We get loads of ideas coming off the back of reading your comments for new videos as well. So it's, it's, a, it's yeah, so, great to read that. Yeah, so keep them coming. Cool. Um, so where should we start with this? So the speakers we've done, um, we start off with the big boys here, the EV, mm. um, EVM12L. Yeah. Um, we did a, uh, we've used this in a couple of videos lately, haven't we, with the, the Marshall yeah. versus the Greenback. Um, what are they, 200 watts? So this is what you, like the classic high powered speakers, what you think of straight away really, isn't it? The yeah, it is. Um, downsides of it is it weighs a ton. Yeah, but it's got a kind of iconic sound, very clean. Mm. Um, this, the Overtones Audio Thick Boy, if I can lift it up. Um, it's 300 watt speaker, it's a, it's a take on the EV. I think it's, um, I may be wrong in saying this, but I think it, it may be a take on the, the Black Label EV, right? Okay. which is the 300 watt one, the Zach Wild yeah. uh, signature EV, but that's, that's a really nice one. Again, weighs a ton. Yeah. Um, you can see a similar sort of thing going on between those two there, can't you, in the way they're built? Yeah, 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 same, well, they look very similar. Yeah. Um, next, Redback, Celestian's uh, Redback, the, another G12H, um, they confusingly added it to the H range, so the H150, mm -hmm. uh, we just know it's a Redback. So with, with this speaker, the, these two are like all out high power speakers, but this is meant to sound like a more conventional power rating speaker, but it have is. that high power capability. Yeah, so. so more guitar. These are kind of leaning more towards kind of what you'd expect from PA, yeah. almost really clean. Um, right, two Neo speakers, just to contrast with the uh, the super heavy EV type speakers. Are these uh, two Celestian? <laughs> <That's Ooh. a> <laughs> <light>. <laughs> um, they got the idea of magnets, which are a lot lighter. Um, they do, te well, conventionally they have kind of their own sound, but I think the difference between these two that you're going to hear is so stark that... Um, this one is meant to be a bass speaker, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that one's meant to be a bass speaker. Um, 300 watts. We love it for guitar, so we, we put it in to see how it stood yeah. up with the, with the others. We did a video um, called the Baritone Cab, didn't we? Yeah. Which, yeah. Had, which had these in it. Yeah, but we... Um, I think it's a it's a nice just all round speaker for guitar. You can get some really nice cleans and stuff. So we wanted yeah. to bring that in um, to show that um, you're going to hear the copper back. The copper back is meant to be Celestian's take on one of these style EV speakers, isn't yeah. it? But um, yeah, it's got its own sound going on, really. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And last up is um, an eBay. Um, find for me which is a sidewinder I know a couple of guys who swear by these mm. um, and I think most of them are kind of 80s style players um, yeah so that's like a 150 watt speaker from the 80s by Celestian isn't it yeah I don't know much about them Yeah, but I just thought we'd buy one and put it in the video yeah cool so what we've done here is similar to, to our other sort of videos in these styles is I played each speaker um, on a clean setting I've done the same thing with a, with a dirty sound for each speaker. And then lastly, I've done a, a, a riff, which I've looped. 
and then I've recorded that through each speaker and then just chopped between it in the video edit so you can hear it just chopping between all the speakers in a pretty quick succession. I, th I like that kind of format because um, the, just the playing for like a minute or so helps bring across some, some vibe, mm. but then the quick changes really help you kind of hear yeah. um, the, the contrast between, between them. I think and I've done the, the quick change with the more high gain sound as well because I think that usually reveals a bit more about where the maybe some of the if it's brittle or if yeah, it's got something going on the 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 extra gain kind of helps bring it out yeah. a little bit. All right, so first uh, we'll take a listen to the clean clips. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
All right, so you've heard the clean. Mm -hmm. um, I I think they all sound quite nice, really. Mm. I don't. I think from the cleans, I don't think I'd have particularly. Yeah. Um, so with these like high power rating speakers, um, you've got so much headroom. There's no like. The, the speaker isn't going to compress or anything, so just you just get these massive, great big clean sounds that are really, really pleasant to play. Um, yeah. For me, I think the red back kind of stood out a little bit, and um, the EVs, um, sat, oh, the EVs, <laughs> the EV <laughs> and the uh, the overtones audio sounded nice. I think that was a little bit darker, mm. um, and I made some notes on the others, but um, they kind of. I could have used any of those for cleans. Yeah, I thought the bass speaker sounded particularly nice. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, but uh, let's let's move on to the dirty stuff then. So uh, let's get go. dirty. <laughs> Thank you. 
dirty sounds now. Um, I think they you start to kind of hear a bit more of a difference yeah. in what's going on there. Definitely. Um, so where do we start? Well, I'm going to start with the the last speaker on there, the the red back. Mm-hmm. I really liked it. I thought it had a really nice musicality and warmth. Yeah, to it without cool. sounding dark or or anything like that. It's got that familiarity of like a. A, a green back or a cream back, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Often when you um, read about high powered green backs, mm. there's really not that much left of a you know that green back kind of sound. But if you closed your eyes, I think, or you didn't know the the power rating of the red back, I think you could be yeah kind of you you definitely think it's got that vibe anyway. Yeah, they're great all round speakers. I think it's, yeah, uh, it's yeah. really useful to be able to have that in speaker that you could put into a one by 12 and yeah and you just don't have to think about yeah. i mean a one by 12 you even if you had a head that was more powerful than 150 watts you're not going to be putting 150 watts through it so um um, um yeah for these demos i used uh mesa booby stiletto 100 watt head um but i didn't have it like cranked all the way up um just it was pretty loud in the room just giving a, a good sound so get the speaker yeah. moving yeah i wasn't trying to and um, put these sort of 300 watt speakers on their limit <laughs> <laughs> speaker breaker um, right what, what was your favourite what, what was the standout for you um, yeah I think I'd probably tend towards the red back it's just as I say again that familiarity of like the Celestian sound that we all really love um, yeah yeah the EV sounds really cool as well um, it's, it's a bit more of a bolder sound um, and it's got Maybe a little bit more dynamic content to it, um, but yeah, I think I'm sort of classic Celestian, really. Yeah, I really liked the oh, the B N twelve three hundred S. I thought that was uh, maybe not have been my favourite sound of the seven, but I think it held its own yeah. and was actually surprising to say it's a bass speaker. Yeah, I thought that you wouldn't know it was a bass speaker. No, no. not at all. So uh, I would tend to think that with a bass speaker they're usually a bit more more flat aren't they in their, yeah, in yeah. their response to um, compared to a guitar speaker so I was anticipating maybe getting a little bit of a fizzy top end out of it but it was pretty smooth uh, yeah yeah especially because of the when you look at the size of the dust cap yeah pushing all them lows um, okay all right, uh, so let's move on to the um, the riff section. Uh, so this is a bit more of a heavier sound, and yeah, it'll, it'll just quickly chop between all the different speakers. So. quick changes on the high gain setting uh, I think you probably um, noticed a few gems and a few that maybe didn't hold up so well mm. against the others yeah so as we said before up in the gain so it starts to really reveal which frequencies are getting pushed more and or less in the in the speaker I think um, so for me that immediately put this one out of contention for a speaker that I would probably go and choose they yeah. think they didn't sound great to me under the high gain no but I don't know maybe it's it's, it's obviously a taste thing isn't it there's people who love these things um, 
I know too many really good players who love them yeah. to dismiss it. But I <laughs> do. I gotta admit, when when we had the the fast changes on of all seven, I'd started laughing. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> yeah, um, but it's cool. It's got a snake on it. So it's that's all the main the snakes thing. are good. <laughs> for for me, for the one that didn't shine as well as I'd mm. hoped. Well, actually, I already knew, but <laughs> it was the copper back. Yeah. Um, for me, I lo- I love the idea. Mm. I mean, if you could make something that sounded like the EV, even though it may not be my favourite sounding speaker, it's so iconic and so useful for what it does. If you could turn an eight kilo speaker into something that's about two kilos, then you've got a winner, even if you can get pretty close. Um, But for me with this one, I just use the the BN 12300S if you wanted something light and powerful. Yeah. Because it sounded sounded good. It sounded, sounded a lot better. I don't know, maybe... So I think with, with EV speakers, they t- tend to go into, from what I've learned or noticed, is it goes into two categories with players mainly, and I'm generalising a bit, but they tend to go for people who like really big, bold cleans and maybe do some drive sounds on their pedal boards yeah. or like really heavy st- uh, style yeah, yeah. playing. And I think this does the cleans pretty well, but yeah. maybe the heavier stuff is just not quite there for me. Um, yeah, I know what you mean. They... Um... Yeah, so maybe a good way of lightening up a a Mark series Mesa. Yeah. That had an yeah. EV in, possibly. Maybe that's a video there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. Um, so the EV sounded sounded great, I think, um, under high gain. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this one I found a little bit darker than that. Yeah, yeah, it is um, quite a bit darker to my ears, yeah. I don't know if that's. I don't know if it's kind of a fair comparison with that being the the three hundred watts. I, I do have a feeling that was more at the black label. Right. I remember, we once had um, we did a video. Go and check it out. The um, black label, the three hundred watt EV versus the uh, the twelve L, the two two hundred watt, and I, th- I seem to remember that being a little bit. Darker. Yeah, it was. Yeah, the, the black label was a bit darker. Yeah, it? so maybe that's yeah. it. But I think they were kind of a. A variation on the theme there mm-hmm. for sure yeah and the, the red back just sounded great again i think yeah it? been... that's a winner for me again yeah so um red back for me won the dirty and the heavy stuff and it stood out in the cleans yeah i really like the governor as well actually but um, maybe we shouldn't talk about that <laughs> it's completely my fault <laughs> no it's cool it's, it's, it's good to have um maybe that can be out of control speaker regular sort of power speaker to okay. compare against <laughs> But if anything, it makes me want to explore some more eminent speakers because I thought it sounded really yeah, good. Yeah, I thought that sounded really yeah. good. Yeah. We did, had literally just finished recording and I asked Joe to check the spec mm. to see if it was 150 or more. And But I'd liked so much what I heard. Yeah. I thought we'd put it in. Yeah. It's been recorded. So. Cool. All right. Yeah. So to sum it up, um, I don't know, high-powered speakers doesn't necessarily just mean uh, super cleans... Yeah. Um, I think that you can get a, I know, a nice organic warmth there. I think there's a few of these that if you plugged them in, you wouldn't know they were pow- so powerful. Yeah, yeah, um, right. Um, yeah, I think the the red back shines through as the example of that for me. That's that's the one I'd go for. Um, if I was going to spec a 1x12, I think that's probably the way I'd go. Yeah. So there's some thoughts there on what we think about those speakers, but as usual, we want to hear about what you think. Um, let us Leave us a note in the comments below. Let us know what you thought of these speakers and what your experiences are. If you've played any of these high-powered speakers yourself, we'd love to hear about that. Yeah, we love hearing about the gear you play and how you use it. So, um, yeah, leave us a comment. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in another video very soon.